Hello everyone, Danasa here with Action VFX. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to add pouring rain effects to a person in Adobe After Effects. We will be using Action VFX dripping water and raindrops on ground collections to do this effect. This tutorial is also a continuation of our rain tutorial last week, where we covered how to convert a daytime environment into a rainy scene using our rain collection. So you can check that out in the description. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here we have our composition of our environment from the previous tutorial. Here you can see I have the rain layer, and on top of that, I have the adjustment layer with exposure, and then I have added another adjustment layer at the very top for color correction or color grading. And basically, we want to add our person behind the rain. So what I want to do is to disable the layers that will be in front of our character. So we're going to disable the color correction, exposure, and rain. And then we're going to bring our character and then right click fit to composition to make him fit to the comp. And then we are going to key out his green screen. Add a key light, click the color picker to select green. Okay, so now we have the green keyed out. Now switch to screen mat to see our alpha channel. We are going to make it contrast to make sure we have a clear silhouette of our character. So let's pull the clip black until we get rid of all the white on the background. And then also pull back the clip white. So now we have the green keyed out. And then we're going to change back to final result. And next we are going to bring curve and color correct our character to match our scene. That's good enough. And thankfully our character will be helped by being covered by a lot of the rings. So now what we're going to do is we are going to pre-compose him. So control shift C and move all attributes because we want to bring our curve and key into inside the pre-comp. And then we're going to go inside the pre-comp and here you see the microphone as well as the green screen rigs. So we are going to get rid of that by masking our actor. And then we want to animate our mask. Okay, next what we're going to do is to track the umbrella to add the water dripping effect on it. So we're going to click our layer and go to the tracker panel and track motion. And then we are going to put this point to a spot at the back of the umbrella. Click on rotation so we have another tracker and then select another point and then start tracking. And next, let's add an all object name it backline track and go to edit target make sure it select our null and hit apply and then we're gonna get our dripping water footage turn our alpha background here to black so we can see our water clearer and then we're gonna position our water to around the edge of the umbrella and then we're gonna bring it to the bottom of the layer so it is behind our actor and then let's bring more water dripping assets to populate the shot more. And once we're happy with it, let's pre-compose so they stick together. And then parent the pre-compose to our null. So now they're following the umbrella. And then we're going to mask out the bottom part where the water hits the ground because we don't need it. And then feather it out really big so the transition is not too sudden. Perfect. Next, let's add water dripping effects to the front of the umbrella. But first, let's disable the water that we just made. And then we're going to drag our umbrella again. This time, we pick two points on the front. And then let's get another null. Name it front train track. And this time, we're going to create a solid. Name it umbrella mat. And disable it because we don't need to see it because we're just going to use the alpha and not actually see it in the final render. And then we're going to draw a mask on the solid to the shape of the umbrella. And then we're going to parent this to the front lane track. So now the solid is following it. And then we're going to animate the mask so it follows the shape of the umbrella. So we are going to use this shape to map out our rain later. Now let's bring our water dripping effects. Let's position our water close to the front edge. And then let's bring more. And then pre-compose them the same way as before. 
we're gonna put these pre comp below the umbrella mat and then patented to the front track null and alpha inverted to the umbrella mat. Great! Here we see the top of the water protruding out of the umbrella, so let's mask that out. And then also mask out the bottom part just like before. Now, what we're going to do is to add some rain interaction on the umbrella itself. So let's add rain on ground asset, scale it down, change the blending mode to additive, and then let's duplicate the umbrella mat, put it on top of our rain on ground, and alpha mat it. Awesome. Now let's press MM and feather out the mask. Reduce the expansion so our rain doesn't expand beyond the umbrella. Okay. So we have everything set up. Now let's turn on the layer of the back rain. Reduce the opacity of all the rain water a little bit so they are not too striking. And we have this. Now go back to the main comp and let's select our character pre comp and scale it down to 70% to make him fit into our scene. And then we're gonna go to our rain on ground pre comp of the environment and mask out an area under him so we don't want any rain interaction there. Now let's bring in our character plate again, the fresh plate with the green screen and scale it down to 70% to match to the keyed out one. We're gonna use this new green screen layer to create our shadow. So here is a tip on extracting soft shadow from a green screen. First, we're gonna bring in tint to make the shot black and white and then let's bring in curve. We're gonna make the gray area to be very bright to the point of being white while keeping the shadowy part as black. Okay, so now when we have a clear contrast between the shadow and the background, we're gonna change our blending mode to multiply. So now all the white color disappears while keeping the darker color. Here I continue to adjust the contrast until I get the right amount of shadow. So now let's create a soft mask for our shadow. And there we go, extracting a shadow from a green screen. Very simple. And then what we're gonna do is to add rain dripping from the umbrella to the ground. So let's just track another dripping water asset and basically position it to around his feet. And then we're going to mask only the part where the water hits the ground. And finally, we are going to create reflections because the ground is wet. So we're gonna see a little bit of reflection of our character on it. So let's duplicate our pre-comp, flip it, put it to the bottom of our character layer, and then we're gonna mask out only around the legs area, feather it, let's reduce the opacity so it's not too opaque, and then we're gonna add some ripple movement to the reflection. First, let's add Gaussian Blur and blur it a bit. Now let's add Turbulence Displace, and we're gonna scale down to seven, and then let's animate it. So right click on the evolution and let's write down expression time times 250. And then we are going to move all the layers that we just made into the right order, which is behind the adjustment layers and the rain. And we're going to turn on all the layers and we have our shot. If you want to purchase the water dripping and the rain assets that I used in this tutorial, you can check out our website at actionvfx.com. At Action VFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. We also have free assets that you can get on our website. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comment section below if you have any tutorials that you would like to see next. So, see you next time. Bye bye.